Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to take a look at this 2010 iMac. Uh, we're going to replace the hard drive with an SSD, which required me to purchase a uh, heat sensor, so a temperature sensor for the SSD, as Apple actually monitors um, the temperature of the internal hard drive. Uh, being that it is, a, a, I believe, a WD drive, it has a built-in temperature sensor, so we're going to have to pull out their specific wire for that hard drive and replace it with this one. And then pretty simple, just uh, put a SSD in a three and a half inch hard drive caddy and then actually put that into the Apple uh, bracketing system. So first things first is to actually just remove this top glass so you can pry a fingernail up under here and then it's just magnets holding it in place. So I'm just going to do that and then show you guys me actually lifting it off. Here we go, guys, got the glass lifted off. Now we can just pull it off and then put it off to the side and then just take out, uh, I believe it's eight torque screws uh, in order to remove the LCD panel. But instead of actually removing it completely, I'm just going to lift it off of the internals. And then that gives me enough access to get a screwdriver in there to take the hard drive out. So with the glass off, we have one Torx there, one there, one there, one there, and then the same repeated on the other side. So we do have these bunch of neodymium magnets in here to hold that top glass panel in. So as you're taking the screws out, of course, they're gonna get attracted to those magnets. So just be careful um, when taking them out. So here we go, guys, we have the LCD lifted off. Just be careful, there are a bunch of cords. You got your LCD cord there, some power cords back there, and then one over, other cord right over here. I'm using a little cardboard box just to hold it propped up, but all you have to do is remove these two Torx screws, and that's pretty much it to get the hard drive out. Uh, power. SATA, and then the temperature sensor. So just removing all those and putting in the new ones. Here we go, guys. We got the 500 gig hard drive out. So all we have to do is take off this bracket, put it on our SSD uh, cart. Um, and then there's also these studs on the back um, in order that slot in right in back there. So what I did was just put a couple of screws uh, through the back of my three and a half inch drive bay. So when we put it in, those will slot in where those studs came out and then we'll just screw the bracket on right there. The new temperature sensor hooked up there. Um, we have our SATA power SATA connector right there. And then underneath we have our temperature sensor right there. So now I'm just gonna install this. So the two screws that I had put in there um, through the wrong way, slide back into those grommets back there. Um, see so we got those two in and then all you have to do is just screw in there and there so i'll do that um and then show you guys formatting the drive and disk utility and then installing mac os okay guys so we got the ssd in there so we got it plugged in along with our new heat sensor um, or temperature sensor for the ssd all that plugged into the motherboard so now i have uh, Mac OS High Sierra loaded on here on a bootable USB. I'm going to plug it into our USB port on the back of our iMac and then boot in off of this um, in order to install Mac OS High Sierra. For Mac OS Utilities on our flash drive, we're going to go to Disk Utility, put in our disks, find our 500 gig SSD. We're going to hit our race in order to format. I'm going to call it Macintosh SSD. We're gonna format it as APFS and erase. So here we have our flash drive and then we have our Macintosh SSD um, SATA internal APFS physical store. So now we're going to quit out of here and we're going to go to install Mac OS. And now we get greeted with our Mac OS High Sierra. Continue, agree, agree. And then we can select our Macintosh SSD and hit install. So this will take a little bit. I'll let this install and I will show you guys sort of how the system responds now. Um, speed, boot times, things of that nature. So here we go guys, we're booted into High Sierra. So we got our SSD in here. So I'm using Monit just to get um, 
some hardware information. So we have our Macintosh SSD. We have 499 gigs APFS file system. If I go to this utility, um, here you can see it. So yeah, we're all set up. Use 36 gigs so far, just downloading some basic software. But we are in good shape. If I go to about this Mac, I mean, everything is so much quicker now. Boot times much quicker. Um, just loading applications a lot, a lot quicker. If we go to storage, you can see our medium type is SSD. So we are, we're all set. So I've already got some RAM on order and an i7-870 on order. So right now we're using the i3. So two cores, four threads, uh, upgrading that to four cores and eight threads. So I'll do a, a follow-up video just to see sort of how this computer has aged from all the way back in 2010 to today. So 10 years, this computer has been out. Um, so just trying to see how it holds up to today's both Apple products and Windows products in terms of both performance and just uh, applications.